All right. So what are we doing? No, 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 no. So, so Dur direct or, or move on? Well, there is an. You were explaining to me on the phone about the Pandora's box element of, of, uh, and I, I thought that was. I, I didn't get that, so maybe you can talk to me a little bit about what all that green stuff is and what the cockroach is. And, well, that's, and that's what you can imagine if the gods or the goddesses or God himself, you know, people he hangs with, because he's not a loner. You know, God, God's, he's got a lot on his shoulders, but he, you know, he's got friends. He had Satan. He loves Satan. That's not a whole other story. But he loves his angels. He loves his other you know, associates. And one of them is Pandora. And they had the whole myth of Pandora and all that stuff. And so they've got all this, that's all you can imagine with plague and with sickness and with death and turmoil and strife and all that crap. What you can imagine, it, it, could, it could be distilled into for some person or some whatever. If it, if it, if it, if it, if it could be harnessed, if we could be harnessed into something, anything, like a mason jar, yeah, all that, stuff, all that nastiness, and then to top it up with a little bit of hope, just drop a cockroach in there, you know, which you would think would be one of the nastier elements of it, but it's actually the most hopeful, that's actually hope for mankind, hope for life, the cockroach. So that's, that's my interpretation. I, I, that's. You, you, you were saying that in, on the phone about how the cockroach was really a representation of hope, you know, because yes. the cockroach is out. It's life. Yeah, they, they, they were here before, we, they were here before, so probably after it blows up again. And uh, so they, they, they represent life, they represent hope. That is the hope, that is the bottom of the Pandora's box. I don't know how you want me to say it. Yeah, I don't know how explicit you want me to. But uh, yeah, that, that they they do represent the hope, while 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 everything else just goes to hell in a handbasket. Also, there is the cockroach, <laughs> and while humanity is dying on a pile of shit and burning on a on a even bigger pile of shit, and finds itself face down on a, on a burning big pile of shit. Somewhere crawling on the other side of their face, they'll feel a cockroach. And while most will say, oh, fucking great, it's not just fucking great, just shit on me, God, some more, there may be that one person that goes, wow, I'm dead. But there's hope for this little one. And maybe he will carry on and spawn somehow, some way, spawn. And maybe civilization can regrow. You know, I'm laying that face down in the shit behind the Trump juggernaut or the Pence juggernaut or the who knows who's coming after them juggernaut or the whatever juggernaut that's obviously going to come and wipe us out eventually because we'll be so weakened after Trump. We're so weakened now. We're, 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 it's just insane. And I don't mean to say that in any kind of nationalist sense, but it is one way of looking at it. And a very strong way of looking I mean, North Korea is dying to take us over. North Korea is, they're telling us. They're telling us. And they'll have Russia's support, or they'll, the Russia, they'll, they'll cut a deal with Russia who'll come in from the north or flew out through Alaska. It's crazy. And Canada's helpless. They, 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 they won't do anything but lay down and just say, don't cut us up. You know, you save us. Can we exist? Can we, 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 you want to go to war with England now? Yeah, you know, they pull all so we will all their alliances. They pull all their alliances cards. Don't want to go to England. Don't want to go to France now, do you? Hang on now. They may be left alone. Like other countries are left alone, but the rest of I mean, North America is finished. North Co North Korea. -ka. North Korea. -ka. So you start out with this Pandora's box, 
and, and then you go into another planet's hell. Yeah. That's the busker from hell. I don't explain this whole film. But uh, yeah, that's 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 it's set on a train or a mo moving something. You hear people in the background chattering, and this guy is on his guitar, just playing a song that you don't know and don't want to listen to. Don't know and don't want to know. What the fuck is he talking about? And you kind of ignore him. He's sitting there at the top of his lungs, giving you all he's got about this being another planet. So why am I listening to this? Can I have can I enjoy a pleasant ride to to the beach, please? Wait, wait. Can he stop? Another planet. Tell. There's another planet. Tell. Let me tell you. Why are we here? And who are we? And what are we? And then he's like, wait, why? Why is he yelling? Please. Why does he have to make this noise? Well, what the fuck is it? He's the busker from hell. But he's actually. How do you describe that? A witch doctor, a rock and roll witch doctor superhero. A rock and roll, is that where the voodoo comes in? Yeah, he's a rock and roll witch doctor superhero. That's what's described in, in, in the film, I think you saw that. Or maybe you didn't see it. You shouldn't be surprised. How, how would you describe you in that film? Film. What, what, what kind of? Oh, I don't know. I, mean, I, I can't. Please. No, but I mean, that there's an energy. Is what I'm. Uh, I'm thinking about. Your energy, it, it is healing. But it's also intense. It's an intense feeling, but it's it's, it's, it's a positive intensity. Just make no mistake about that. It's intense, but it's a positive intensity, and it's sensual. Yeah, you know, I just want to uh, present it as 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 one of the tools in my toolbox. You know, it's kind of comical too. I kind of play with that as well. I think I, I think it's hilarious. That's the funniest part to the whole film when he's on the bus hypnotizing the girl and going through all this with his shades and his guitar and his white suit. It's hilarious, but at the same time, it's very poignant and very interestingly strange and very like it communicates a sense of like other otherworldliness. How it's cut and how it's edited. I think I I don't know how closely you looked at that, but I, I, th I think it bears looking at it again. Uh, I, I, I well, well, the thing that got me was how she's sitting on his lap. How she, it just becomes like after a while, it becomes like a symbiosis, and to the point where he even says, at one point, I disengage the breathing apparatus, and, goes, and she walks on her own, and she walks backwards, and she walks backwards to his apartment, and or his spaceship, and then uh, gets gets going with her with the voodoo ritual, the voodoo ritual. Uh, uh, one of the rituals is in getting an assistant, because he, he even said he'll need he'll need your help. He you can't do it alone, not just hers, but others, yours, um, everyone's, uh, to pitch in in any way they can after seeing this film. Um, but in, in enlisting her help as his kind of like second in command or sergeant at arms uh, is to learn the ins and outs of what moves him as a musical force. What moves this force. Here's, 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 what, here's, what, here's what moves this engine, baby. See the engine that runs this car? This is what makes it run. And so he gives a lowdown on God Bless the Dead and his shamanistic, uh, negroidal, futuristic, prehistoric language. Which I think it's hilarious. Considering that's B-roll played backwards, slowed down from another shoot. You know, I don't, I don't pat myself too hard on the back, but I think that's kind of funny and kind of daring or interesting. I just no, no, no one would know, but for those who are interested, it's it, it's interesting. Um, I love that kind of stuff. There are a lot of artists, artists, art, auteurs, not so much the safe art, the safe directors, or some of the other directors. Work in the experiment, Antonioni, uh, work in the experimental realm. I've done things like that. You know, just, just kind of put it all together somehow. Because they got so deep involved in the editing process that it, it reached a point of minutia. It reached a point of, if I could just like splice this within a millisecond of that and give like two milliseconds of this, it would give an interesting dissonance. You know, when it gets into that shit, which I've done. Um, yeah, so. Do you see it as a, a, 
as a comedy or a tragedy? Where, where, how do you see it? It is. It, it's very comedic at times, hilariously so. It's at, at sometimes um, absurd. I almost look at it like a Chaplin film. I was telling Susan while trying while making in the process of making it. It's very much like a silent film with music. And in the old days, they had silent films and they had music. They didn't have singing over it necessarily until the talkies came in. And then there were there, there was a period where they had these imitation talkies where they had people doing dialogue and they had people play the record in the part where they're supposed to be singing because they didn't quite figure out how to put it into the soundtrack yet and all these other bumps and hiccups that happened in like 26, 27, 28 before finally they figured out with the jazz singer and got it together because um, everything is a process it just happened everything. Um, but yeah uh, so what was that? so where was I? I get lost in music uh, we, we were talking about uh, the tragic comedy, the Shakespearean sense of of this kind of sci-fi. You, it's everything. It's 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 everything. It's everything. And and what isn't sci-fi, comic book, cheesy, pop culture from the tons tons century here is probably something even deeper um, in that realm in the bookshelf. But it's all here. It's all this is all representation. Of, and of course, I could find via. Uh, so via the computer, and I can find by reference books, which I have some of. So you see a lot of this comedy in. in well, you have to be. You have to laugh at it. You have to. That's why. Really? I, that's why there's always a lot of comedy in my work, because that's what kept me going all these years. Is just laughing at stuff, you know. Because uh, it's so, so tragic that where else do you go? But to hell, where else do you go but to depression, where else do you go but suicide, that's how tragic it is. So you got to take it the other direction. You have to, there's no place else to go. There's no place else to go. Really. So you go in the other direction, you laugh at it, you make, make light of it. And then you know how to vacillate and take it to the point where it's funny, but it's not in poor taste. And sometimes you can be in poor taste, and sometimes it's okay because the greats sometimes are in poor taste. And you, and you hold true to that. If so and so can do it, why can't I do it? And find a way to kind of navigate your sense of humor and your sense of being and your sense of humanity in, in who you are. I would say I'm, 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 I'm very proud of it. I, I'm, I, think I'm trying, I think I have something to say. I don't quite know what I'm saying yet. Or at least I don't... Maybe I'm not aware of the repercussions. I just need to say it. And there may be some serious repercussions in saying this and saying it in the way that I'm saying it. But I recognize that also, so I know that there's something that could come out of it that could be troubling or challenging, or, uh, but I like challenge. Uh, it breaks things up, you know. Um. <clears throat> I, I also see it as the sequel to... Patience Right. Patience it is, Right. It is, as I said, we're going to make a trilogy. It is a sequel to it, definitely. That's my job, he said. And he goes off and he ends up doing his job and he gets a call from God. Hey, by the way, you know, I got a job for you. Got it. Yeah, don't worry about it. Just call the slink. He gets, he downloads it. He says, oh, fucking shit. You want me to do this? I got to do this now? Well, what do you, how can I do this? He gives him the DSM-5, exorcism for dummies. He says, you figure it out, you smart kid. And so he goes about you know, on his merry way, on his travels. <laughs> <laughs> exorcism for dummies. Exorcism for dummies. Well, it seemed like... It's a fairy tale, you know, in many ways. It's a fantasy. It's a sci-fi take on a second coming, as these things tend to be, for me at least. And it makes it kind of interesting, you know. It does make it interesting. you got to admit. Well, you, you've left a lot of room for the audience to... Yeah, uh, participate. Talk, talk to me about that. Because we're all living, we're all living our lives. We're all part of this of this thing. We're all part, you're not just people. We're all part of this. I, I you know, that's because this is how I view the audience. That's how I view the audience. The, view, the audience is, is the world around me. The audience is three hundred to five hundred, or however many people I can get in, in a room. We're all just like anybody else who could be anybody else from anywhere else, and. Uh, um, 
There's the world around me, the audience. So. When you were making it, going through the components, um, because it, it's, I'm sure in the editing you found things that you've done before, things that you've done. Uh, uh, for it, you know, you've kind of collaged the, the puzzle together. But it seemed like you were really, in the ones that you did now, you know, for the film, there was a different type of uh, insanity and intensity and, and uh, well, I, OCD about it. OCD? You really, you really going to go there? I'm just no. I'm saying that you're do, just you're really. So you're talking about okay uh, when Trump shows up. I'm talking about all sorts of things in there. No, no. I'm trying to, the ones I did specifically for the film, which were when the shit hits the fan. Right. Of which I show. You show up shitting. A, a, a shitting. A, you show, your shit shows up. Uh, well, that was a cameo. With a cameo, Mo. A cameo of Mo. Mo shit would show Sherlock. Mo shit mm -hmm. Sherlock. Right. Um. Um. And then there was also I Come First, where he's in his bunker, and uh, he's, he's got the money, he's going to talk about guns and bullets, and he's like very, very, very claustrophobic, maybe that one. And it's also got Trump in it. And then Almost the Antichrist, which is exclusively Trump. And I can see I agree, if that's where you're going with the OCD. I don't know, I'm trying to figure out what you're talking about. Well, the, I mean, it's not just Trump. I'm talking about the other elements as well, which were almost, you could viscerally feel that you were... Uh, 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 melting down somewhat in that moment. Melting down. Melting no, down. I'm saying you were you were you were in the. Why is that to be a negative? No, why, that, why, why is that? Why is that to be a process? I, I, no, I'm 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 looking I'm searching for words. Okay, I'll find find the right words. Uh, it, 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 thing, things that just were right over the edge. They weren't on the edge. You would all. Maybe you, maybe I reach another level of enlightenment regarding those elements. Maybe, I don't know, but I'm just saying that... Uh, is that is it, could you look at it that way? Sure, I could look at uh, it anyway. Uh, well, so t talk to me about that. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just trying to say, I'm just trying to figure out a better way to talk about it than the way you were talking about. No, uh, I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. No, I, I'm, what I'm talking about is, is you being in the throes of, uh, of just being you in that moment and not... not um, it's raw. Well, thank you. I don't know what you're talking about, but I will, I'll, I'll, I'll thank you for that. I, I don't know what moments you're talking about. Uh, there's lots of moments which are... Well, you say that, but I don't know what moments you're talking about. Which were raw, I intense... Uh, 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 um... Well, if we had to think you up, which we do, but you don't want to, you want to. No, but but what, show me what you haven't, what, what you what you think I'm thinking about. Oh, good goodness gracious me! Gracious goodness me too.